All right, we're going to do my thought of the day. And this kind of revolves around, obviously, the things I see on a daily basis as an instructor and trying to get you guys to think about and have more of a written plan about how we learn. Well, I was watching, uh, you guys know I love TED Talks, and I was watching this video. I'm going to send you the link on this. This thing was fantastic where this gentleman took information and it talked about uh, how to learn something. His calculation is it takes about 20 hours to really learn something and get good at it. A 20 hour invest investment of dedicated focused time. He's shown proven results and went through you know, all the other you know, people that he's you know, talked to and ex uh, exposed this to. They're saying 20 hours you can learn languages, you can learn to play a musical instrument, you can learn a, a technical skill or a technical trade. And the way it's broken down, I'm just sitting here watching this go, I really agree with that. There's a million different ways that things can go wrong, right? And so I think that when we look at how we know something, we have to take a valid look at what are we really good at? And what aren't we so good at? So that as we move forward, we think about what are the things that I need to improve on. The simple saying where you hear that all the time, you guys hear this, where he says, I'm not good at math. Well, how are you gonna get good at math? Yeah, new math. You know, figure out the math that's needed for the job. The problem is, is when you say, well, I'm not good at math, and you think of a, you know, algebra book this thick, or calculus, or something that you don't need, or you don't want, or isn't going to benefit you in any possible way, it's really hard to want to learn anything about it. But if you said, I'm not good at division, then you got something to work towards. If you did something like, man, I'm struggling balancing my checkbook, I'm not good at recording. That's a, that's a very specific, easy skill to take a look at. Does that make sense? I'm not good at this, okay? What you need to do though, and I, I, so I want you guys to draw the same thing out on your pieces of paper here in a second. I'll finish the video here in a, in a bit. I just wanna, I want this to be our thought of the day. Is I made this little chart here, and really this, this what inspired me today to go this direction was an accumulation of some of the things I've been seeing in the last few weeks and trying to figure out how do we get really good at very specific details of a, of a skill set, of a, of a job. We'll use carburetor overhaul, right? Uh, we've talked about all the different ways that we can get really good at that microfish usage, service manual usage, photos, documentation, all those little things that are going to make us really good, right? So to learn a skill, it takes that muscle memory, right? I could sit and write up here on my little chart all my limitations and then what I'm really good at. And what this allows me to do, so we're going to kind of focus back up here. This allows me to look at the things that I'm really good at. I put poor here, but this could also be needs improvement, okay? And then here it says, you know, how am I going to get there? You know, and what I mean by there are these goals. If I have a goal for today, a week, a month, and a year, and this is where it brings me back to our classroom. Yesterday, there was some like, a little bit of like frustration I could feel in students in themselves. Not in anything else, but it was in themselves to go, man. And I was thinking that you're probably yesterday, you were thinking way too much about here. Okay, you were thinking way too far down the road and not thinking, if I want to be great, at carburetors because we'll just deal with the class that we're finishing up I need to I need to checklist it out what are the things I have to be great at you know to to get to that goal so anyway, today uh, the thought really some summarizes down to is you got to know yourself and you have to you know think about trying to know your employer or your customer and then coming up with a good plan on how you're gonna get there